Students of all ages and sexes from nine Northeast Oklahoma counties crammed into the teaching lab at the OSU Extension Office in Tulsa. They came to learn the fine art of home canning. Howard Collins thought he might be the only man in the class until he looked around. I figured I was going to be a lone wolf or something. Barbara Brown teaches the course. For many years, interest in home canning has waned. But with the economy in a downturn, interest is suddenly way up. This year, uh, we anticipated that we have a greater interest in home food preservation, all the canning, freezing, as well as drying, because folks are looking at their way to spend a little bit of money on their food deal. To accommodate the growing demand, additional classes are being added. Some also want to learn how to can at home because they're concerned about the safety of commercially prepared food. Home canning may be a greater risk because those people in the commercial industry do it on a regular basis. They have more ways to find out what the temperature is in their jars. And the potential for a problem having a greater reach exists, but the probability for spoilage and illness is actually higher than home canning. Collins and his daughter, Kim Shelton, are taking the class so they can put up the vegetables they'll grow this spring. I'm one of those people that really learn by hands-on experience, and so that's exactly what we're doing here today, is just starting from scratch and learning, um, especially the food safety part of it, because I'm learning that there's, there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. A big part of this course involves food safety and having the proper equipment that's properly maintained to safely can your food. So you need to know if your pressure gauge is accurate and if your seal is good and safe. Now you don't even have to take the course to get those things checked by the OSU Extension Services. Just call your local office and they'll tell you if they do those checks or if there's another Extension Office near you that does. You can also check to see if your county Extension Office offers canning classes or if one is offered in a neighboring county. It's really pretty simple. Like, I thought it was going to be much more intimidating. Instead of intimidating, Shelton discovered home canning is relatively easy if you have patience, the proper equipment, and someone to teach you the basics. In Tulsa, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.